in spite of the effort from all of the well-known shills in YouTube, 323 is what it is, folks, and people are freaking out. Let me go through Spectrum. Let me show you, deal with disappointment like an adult. So you're being nagged about, hey, why are you even complaining? Just shut up and take it, Chris. Uh, what do we have 12 years after Kickstarter? Uh, please explain to me in simple terms how any non-PVP activity will be net positive with Mastermost in 323. It will not. No cargo content in 323. Then you salvage. And I like this one. You just killed 323. Glad to have saved that one because it's already being locked. The features below will remain in the 323 column on release view but are now targeting 3. 23.x release, item banks, personal and instant hangers, new mission cargo hauling, freight elevators, you just killed 323. And of course, they lock the thread because people are actually right and they're complaining. You have not taken out you have not taken everything players actually care. That's true. They took everything that was worth uh pledge item recovery. That's a big one that this is basic stuff that after a year they should have been able to actually deliver, but too much to ask. Gear down 323, the new space anchor. Need a progress tracker is dead and buried. It's just me or is Star Citizen kind of paid to win? So people are realizing, why release 3? This is actually quite good. Why release 323? Uh, honest, honestly, CIG, why are you releasing 323 at all? You compress the patch so much that there's almost nothing left. Everything people were expecting isn't coming, so why don't you just leave it as that and release the patch when you're done? And the fact that you've been torn apart on social media and rightfully so is your own fault. How can you fall so? Cons how can you fail so consistently? I don't understand. I don't think you've learned something. No, they've learned. Uh, they've learned that they can get away with anything. They've learned that they can promise anything they they want. They can lie to your face and then just don't do it. Oh, it's just, just too difficult. We need more time. And you will have the shells often paid. You will have the sims, which there's unfortunately way too many of these days. You will have these bitches like this nurse man. <laughs> so fitting, nurse man. Deal with this appointment like an adult. So shut up. Don't complain. Don't point out that you're being screwed yet again. What a fucking bitch this guy is. Complaining about people pointing out the obvious screw up that they are doing yet again. And it's not that they don't understand or they didn't learn anything, it's actually the opposite. So, this guy that he, he says, Why release? So, to Galen Crane, um, you haven't learned it. Yes, they have learned. They have learned that they can just take your money, do nothing with, with it in terms of game developing, buy buildings, buy things that were. Uh, intended at, at all times to be simply assets to their own portfolios with the excuse of developing a game uh, when that's not really necessary. You don't need to buy uh, you don't need to buy real estate when you're developing a game, right? That's not needed. You can very much rent office space, which is the most reasonable thing to do, except if you wanna, you know, grow your portfolio with real estate instead of actually developing the game that you got the money for. That's, that's what they're doing. You think they're actually trying to deliver anything with at this pace? You cannot even fulfill a 323 patch. It takes years and you still don't do it. You think you'll have pyro? You think you'll, you'll think you have anything? Of course not. This happens year after year. They keep on promising and not delivering. It's, it's the easiest thing to do and you still keep on making money. Why wouldn't they do it? I would do it as well. I mean, they found a bunch of people that have the disposable income to just not care a whole lot. And we just still hang around here. I am still here doing this. Now, the, the only thing I wonder really is how much longer, how much longer I wonder even about myself, how much longer will I, you know, I'm, I'm not finding it anymore. It's... It's been a while and it's getting worse and definitely with 323 it will be a lot worse. One of the few things I honestly enjoyed was the combat. Super repetitive because it's always the same thing. But now with Master Mode, combat is, is dead. It's not me saying it. It's 
the Avenger 1 people of, of this community. The guys are really involved. So if I find it to be the death of combat and those guys believe it's destroying combat as well, it probably is. I have no doubt that it is. That's why, except for the shills, except for the bitches and the white knights and, and, and the ball lickers like these guys that, you know, they, they, they have to run around doing damage control, grow a pair. Grow a pair and don't be like that. If you're a fucking grown man, don't be like that. I mean, <laughs> I assume it's people that work for the company or people that are that way just because of their nature. I don't know. I don't really care. But you see the comments. Now, we cannot deny that the enormous majority of the comments are people that are extremely disappointed and upset. Um, uh, Master Most, Quantum Snare, Shields, in, Inside Star Citizen, Water, Really, Master Modes, Bad UI. It's a lose-lose with so many of you. There you have, there, there you have always the, the damage control. A gentle reminder. Oh, let me just check. What am I? Ah, yes, we're reminded that nothing here ever will be delivered. Okay, great. That's that's great to know. Thanks. Um, but you you definitely see that the great majority of people are disappointed. Uh, help me, and rightfully so, because they keep on shilling. They keep on, and they're already selling the tickets for CitizenCon when they couldn't even deliver this much of what they promised in last year's event. You're asking these people to have any shame, really? They have none. Well, they don't care. It's a business. It's money for them. And idiots paying. That's all, all they need. It, it just keeps on... Thank you, say, gee, the future of Star Citizen is brilliant. Some of these folks is... I, can, I can't wait to meet many interesting characters in the verse. I'm also super excited about what the gaming outlets community says. Truly think... Yeah, at this point... <laughs> yeah, 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 the satire. Uh, some people are truly angry. Some people just take it you know, more lightheartedly. I'm honestly not the very light. I, I'm very disappointed that something that has so much potential simply because of greed. Because there's that point. There's the, those roads, you know, separating and there's two roads. There's one of maximum profit and making the most money out of it. And there's the, the, the road of decency and actually a love for the craft of making video games, which they're not taking. They don't give a fuck. They just want to make a shit ton of money. And it's all them. I mean, it is a company. It is for profit. It would be nice to see some heart, some soul, some some of that good old Baldur's Gate three, some of that you know Hell Divers two kind of uh, of CEO, right? Those guys that actually love making video games. Besides making money, you can make money. You can make a ton of money, and still have decency, have a heart, and care for that which you once loved. I think that Chris Roberts has become a, a person with a dead soul. He only cares about the money and the dream that he, I believe, he once had of making a fantastic video game uh, lost in this uh, path over the years and the greed. He only cares about the money now and he does not care about delivering a video game. It is painfully obvious that's the case because if not, I mean, just reading, I think that... Uh, who was it that, that posted a um, Komural, the guy from that channel, he posted this article. You have to read this. Look it up yourselves. But it, it is Building Galaxies in Star Citizen, Expanding Universe 2015, guys. 2015. He said he had all the money he needed for making the video game already. That, that was all good. And he, he, if you read this, you cannot not be pissed if you read this and you see what chris roberts was talking about what, what what he was assuring people that he would do and what he ended up doing later you just cannot be okay with that um and you see that the, the, these fucking bitches thank you for taking your time on cargo i know it might sound crazy I, i'm glad i'm glad you're the they say this year after year Every time they cancel something and they just kick the can forward, there's going to be a bunch of bitches that come around. Thank you for taking your time and not rushing things. No, no, I don't want you rushing things. Dear God, won't you 
don't you dare rush anything. No, no, take another decade to implement stacking of items in my fucking inventory. That's the kind of, oh, yeah, it, it is sad. It is sad to know that there's people like that. But on the other hand, again, being completely honest, you have a ton of people that are super pissed. Now, this will not change a damn thing. The only thing that will change anything is this. If they see money go away, if they see those sales drop and that those ship sales not working anymore, man, that's the only thing I wonder. My question is this. When is it enough? When it is, when is it getting screwed over so much that it reached the point of breaking the camel's back of of the of the player base, the backer base, saying, "Fuck no, you you can't keep doing this to me year after year." So far, they keep getting away with it. So far, they get away with it, and you know, good on them. Great for their bank accounts. I'm super glad that they are happy with that. On the other hand, I'm not super glad that I'm not getting the game that I would have liked to see. Uh, but on the other hand, there's also uh, uh, games in the horizon that are looking pretty good. Uh, the video that I did on, on, on Starfield, you have to be an idiot not to appreciate uh, a proper true RPG, which doesn't enjoy the mechanics that Star Citizen has and the enormous potential that's now going away thanks to Master Modes, but it is there. Uh, Jump Ship looks very good, and there's a bunch of other things that... You know, it's not all lost. And we see it with games like uh, Star Wars Outlaws. There is a change of tides. You know, the the the, the Stellar Blade, uh, that video game where all of the woke crowd is going nuts about uh, non-realistic bodies. I have to do a video on that stuff. But there's people that have said, enough, enough of your woke shit. I don't think it's that problem here. I think that in this case, it's just pure uh, just concentrated greed to a point of not giving a fuck about any aspect of the game and just going for maximum profit, minimal expense, even going as far as getting rid of the actual um, you know quality uh, people that they want, the actually the actual talented people that they had in the company obviously have left. They're not there anymore. They've gone to other greener pastures or whatever it is. But, guys, cry me a river, I don't care. <laughs> it's people coping, coping so hard. <laughs> Whoever is crying about 323 Master Modes, let me tell you, you'll face. So it's, it's, it, 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 it's always the same thing. If you haven't been around, trust me, it's always been the same thing. How far? I don't know. I do know one thing. There's going to be a day in which they say, oh, we, we, we ran out of money. Uh, we don't have the support of these crybabies. The, the crybabies have finally won. Mark my words, in, in a year, two, five, or ten, I don't know when that will be, but mark my words from this video. You know, copy it, so download it, and put it somewhere. One day you will see a letter from the chairman saying, yeah, because the crybabies have finally won. The haters finally defeated us, guys. We have no other choice but to shut down and end this wonderful dream. We just needed a couple more years, but because of these crybabies and the noise and the ball breakers and the complainers, they finally won and destroyed this beautiful dream that we had. And he will grab all the money, he will do like this, take all the money and ran the hell with it. And you will be stuck with whatever that is left here. Uh, but. Don't throw more money into this. If you want to start playing, as I always say, you have my referral, so you can still use that very much so. And I appreciate when you use it, but don't waste more money than that. If you want to throw 50, 60, someone in the comments of my video said, hey, 70 bucks uh, on a Titan is all they will ever get from me. That's the smartest thing you can do. That's the smartest thing you can do because you're not, it's not only that you're likely to end up losing everything because this will, as everything else in life, this too will one day end, and given the way it's going, it's probably going to be sooner than some people expect. Or, or not, it you know, doesn't matter, but it will end. And once that does, everything, every single cent you put into this will be completely wasted and gone. There will be nothing. There won't even be a JPEG left for you. So the sooner you understand that, the more responsible you'll become with, with what you're doing. But besides that, even if you're a multi-millionaire, 
understand that the more money you give them, and this has been proven time and again, the more money you give them, the less they do because they're encouraged to keep on with this model of I just go 90% into ship sales and screw everything else. There's no incentive for them to do anything else, let alone progress and add content to this you know, tech demo wannabe game, okay? Sad because it has a lot of potential and every time you fly, well, every time, it used to be that every time you flew your ship no longer with master modes, which is just like going on a, it's not like it's dead, it's more like you're going on a wheelchair instead of running, um, but it used to be that you could enjoy that. Who knows? Guys, honesty, transparency, and non-shilling, that's what you get from me and my channel. If you appreciate that, let me know in the comments, subscribe, see you next time.